What it is, we're the your boy J Ski Reacts back with another banger. You already know what it is. Shout out to everybody coming back to the channel showing love. Welcome to another reaction, all right? Listen, today I got one. I got I got a um a pretty scandalous one. I am going front for that, man. I am going front. Morally Simmons trying to expose Diddy. Basically saying he responsible for killing Kim Porter. Mother, I think of like three of his kids. We gonna see, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really on some like, I don't know what side to choose. I, you already know Diddy got a troubled past. Uh, well, mostly he had a bunch of allegations in his past. But before we get into this video, shout out to all the subscribers, roll to 10K subscribers. You already know the vibe. If you're not a part of this family, make sure you hit that subscribe button, become part of this family. Also, make sure y'all leaving them likes, man. As you can see, get me in the algorithm. Y'all know that, help me get upstairs with the big boys. Also, if you already a subscriber, make sure y'all hitting that bell so you know every single time I drop some fire content just like this one. I appreciate everybody sending them donations in, cash apps, PayPal's. As you can see, they go towards the studio, helping me give you guys better quality content at the end of the day. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So listen, man, let's get it in, man. I ain't gonna waste no more of y'all time. Day one, Yak Gang, Ski Gang, let's go, man. This one is one of them scandalous ones, you know what I mean? One of them allegedly videos, one of them drinks we watch and you know, we take what we take from it with a grain of salt. We don't really listen to anything too much. All we could do is just watch it, see what it's here for. And we, you know, at the end of the day, we hit the comment section. We talk about what we really feel is going on in the industry, right? Um, some of those things come back to haunt you over time um, and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I'm not really sure, but I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. Again, like I'm sitting here with my kids in my house. She posted this to her story. As you sow, so shall you reap. I'm like, guess that's towards Diddy. And if you're wondering, well, why would I guess? Because back in 2004, Sean Diddy Combs allegedly threatened to. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I don't believe a word that come out of Kamara Lee Simmons mouth, bro. That's just me keeping it a buck. I'm, I, I don't believe a word that come out of her mouth. She been an industry thought for mad long, like for years. 20 plus years she been an industry thought. Fucked over Russell Simmons. I mean, turned his family against him. I mean, helped them with the whole, all the allegations on Russell Lee Simmons. He had to leave. Russell Simmons had to leave, bro. He had to leave America, sir. Because he wasn't trying to give his whole life up to the whole Me Too movement. That shit crazy. Kamora Lee Diddy, Simmons. formerly known as P. Diddy and now Brother Love, finds himself in the midst oh, of controversy Love. as individuals, including Kamora Lee Simmons and his ex-girlfriend Cassie, come forward to shed light on their experiences with the music mogul. The unfolding saga, akin to the first season of Surviving Diddy, exposes Damn. a darker side of the rebranded Surviving Love. Diddy. In this episode, we delve into- Yo, bro, didn't I say that they was gonna make some documentary shit up like that called Surviving Diddy in my last video? Didn't I say that? Bro, y'all playing with me. I'm the GOAT, man. I'm the GOAT, man. If you don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button, bro. ...and revelations that Crazy. have recently surfaced. Kimora Lee Simmons, who was once best friends with Diddy and the late Kim Porter, has brought forth hard evidence yo. suggesting Diddy's... Kimora Lee Simmons used to be a baddie, bro. Porter. According to Simmons, Kim Porter was poised to expose Diddy for his questionable behavior. The revelation hints at a tumultuous dynamic within the close-knit circle, raising questions about Diddy's true nature, adding fuel to the fire cast... Yo, Diddy it's crazy. That interview that she doing right there... That's a recent interview in like the past five years, bro. She don't look too hurt. She don't look too damaged about her friend being dead. And if you if you think he had something to do with it, why you ain't been exposing him? Why y'all just now coming? Why y'all feel comfortable now? That's what I be saying with the whole U2 movement. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That shit crazy, son. And you know why I'm saying U2, because I can't say the other one. I'm probably already fucked up saying it before. You know what I'm saying? So we're we going to say U2 for this video, all right? Raising questions about Diddy's true nature, adding fuel to the fire Cassie, Diddy's ex-girlfriend, has filed a lawsuit. Why are these women, young women, um, not supportive or not really trying to hear that? Or what have they gone through? What have they seen that they, you know, that has turned them off or that has put a, a bad taste in their mouth? Damn, that's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. She used to be such a baddie when she was younger. It's crazy how even when you super bad like that, you age like milk. Women really age like milk. No disrespect. This is scientifically proven already, so we're not even gonna do that. 
I mean, it's not scientific proof that y'all age like milk, per se, but y'all definitely age like milk. <laughs> she don't disrespect, because she used to be a baddie. You know what I'm saying? She look crazy now. She look like uh, one of these movie characters. I forgot the damn, um, I don't know. I'll get it. When, when it come to my head, I'll give it to you. You know, we've seen a lot lately. Against him, exposing a disturbing pattern of abuse. The <clears throat> lawsuit alleges instances of physical violence, emotional <clears throat> manipulation, and coercion. Cassie claims she was assaulted in her own home, subjected to physical harm, and forced into compromising situations. I don't believe that, the bro. detailed accounts in the lawsuit... Bro, I don't believe that. There's videos and pictures of Cassie taking pictures herself. Selfie pictures. Like, leg up, all that. She's taking the pictures. She's recording herself top off a, a dude. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, stop doing that troubling picture of the treatment she endured during her relationship with Diddy. Cassie's lawsuit goes beyond mere accusations, providing Yo, parallel... Yo, right, look, I ain't gonna front. Look, I feel like those of y'all that's new to the channel, y'all watching this video and y'all listening to me now, y'all probably think I'm coming on the side of Pulse. I'm, I'm coming from the side of Diddy. Like, I believe Diddy. That's not the case. I promise y'all that's not the case. If you go back to my other videos, you'll see that I've already exposed Diddy. I've already exposed as much as I can expose from Diddy. All the allegations, all the rumors. If y'all just y'all gotta go back. All I'm saying is, don't come out now to try to expose shit when you see other people speaking. Y'all trying to get this whole movement and this brigade popping so y'all can just all take them down together. No, speak out against what's wrong when you see it. Don't sit around 10, 15, 20 years and almost years after Kim Porter's dead to come out and now you feel comfortable you want to talk now because Cassie's talking now? Come on, that's, a, that's just, it, it just goes towards like proving the female psyche is weak, son. Like you supposed to, Ben came out and said something. Instead, you holding it down, you keep, you, oh, I can't take it anymore. I got to, I've been holding this in for years. Why, because Cassie just won 50 million? Because they just settled for 50 million? Now you're gonna try to say that you need some money too, huh? How much you in the bet in the coming days or the coming weeks, Kamora Lee Simmons will, there will be a, 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 a lawsuit, a formal lawsuit against Puff. How much you in the bet, bro? Shit crazy, son. Don't wait, bro, I'm not on Puff's side. If Puff is guilty, lock him up for life. Lock him up for life, which y'all probably won't be able to do because he got too much money. But if he's guilty, lock him up. Put him away for life. But if he's innocent and these are lies, then what? Then what? Come on now. Can't just be one-sided, man. ...violent behavior, including punching, kicking, and stomping her. Cassie further claims that That's Diddy crazy. compelled her to partake in intimate acts with other men, filming the encounters for his satisfaction. The lawsuit also sheds light on Diddy's alleged involvement in encouraging substance abuse and excessive alcohol consumption. Azealia Banks, known for her outspoken nature, publicly yeah. supported Cassie's claims. The fact I know y'all not taking Azealia Banks' word on anything. I know y'all not going don't don't use her. You could have use you could have use anybody else. You use Azealia Banks, bro. She's a known psychopath. Come on, man. Who is selective in agreements? Affirmed Cassie's allegations emphasizes the severity of the accusations against Diddy. Diddy's troubled history has seen a Damn, cheer of speculation, including baddie, bro. rumors about his involvement thought, in Tupac Shaker's murder. While he was questioned Tupac by the police, Shaker. no substantial evidence linked him to the crime. Cassie's lawsuit, however, has opened a new chapter, revealing a side of Diddy that goes beyond previous speculations. Dot the lawsuit Crazy. also alludes to Diddy being a gay man on the down low, oh, having affairs with other men in the industry. I spoke on that. Go back to my old, my, 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 my last few videos. I spoke on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming one-sided, man. That's the difference between my channel and a lot of y'all channels. I'm not coming just from one point of view. I don't care if you a man. I don't care if you a female. I'm going to say what I got to say regardless on both sides. I've been dropped videos about this months ago, months ago, maybe even a year ago. You know what I'm saying? About a lot of the stuff I've been hearing in the industry. You understand what I'm saying? But yo, take whatever, you know, allegedly, everything I say with a grain of salt. Don't believe me, I'm just a YouTuber. You understand what I'm saying?
Accusations suggest a double life and a level of secrecy that adds another layer to the complex narrative surrounding the music mogul. The allegations and revelations surrounding Diddy paint a disturbing picture of the man behind the public persona. Cassie's lawsuit has brought to light a pattern of abuse, manipulation, and questionable behavior, challenging the perception of Diddy as brother love. While speculations have surrounded him for years, Cassie's detailed account, coupled with Azealia Banks' support, adds credibility to the claims against Diddy. As the Son, how y'all adding credibility from Azealia Banks from a non-credible person? You can't just say, yo, we got credibility from this person when they're not a credible person. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. This is ridiculous, bro. Folds. I'm not saying Puff innocent. I'm not saying I believe Puff. I'm just saying I don't believe Azealia. You understand? I don't believe Cassie. I don't. I truly don't believe her. You want to know why? Because if this been happening, why just now talk about it? And if you really want justice, why just settle for the money? If you really that bruised and battered and you want, you want him in jail, why only sue him for money? They wrote, they, they wrote that settlement, 50 million, she disappeared. Cassie disappeared. Ha ha, ha ha, husband, about to just fly off into the sunset. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit, man. It's to be seen how Diddy will respond to these allegations and whether other voices will join the chorus of those seeking to expose the truth about the music mogul. The spotlight on Diddy's personal life intensifies, prompting a revaluation of the image he has cultivated over the years. Only time will tell how this chapter in the unfolding drama will impact Diddy's legacy in the music industry. The unfolding drama surrounding Diddy takes a darker turn as Cassie. His ex-girlfriend exposes disturbing details about yeah, that was the worst. That was the worst puff, puffy cut ever. Cassie's lawsuit sheds light on a pattern of manipulation, violence, and control that goes beyond the public image of the music. Control, world. maybe I In believe this that. Episode, I, I believe surviving that. Diddy, we delve into the shocking revelations that surviving have recently come Diddy. to light. Cassie's lawsuit paints a harrowing picture of her time with Diddy, alleging that he not only subjected her to physical violence but also manipulated her into taking drugs against her will. The lawsuit <sighs> reveals that Diddy... Explain that to me. Manipulating her to taking drugs against her will? Explain that to me. Somebody, comment section, please, right now, explain that to me. How can you be manipulated into taking drugs? Unless the nigga said, yo, here, this is a cigarette. It's only a cigarette. And then you find out it's PCP, and you, you, you tweak it, next thing you know, you in the street butt naked like Day Day. Or oh, what's the other dude name? Not Day Day. Uh, the one from on um, Friday. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Chris Tucker. I don't, I don't believe that part either, man. I believe that she liked it. She loved Diddy. And she was willing to do anything Diddy asked her. Diddy was a controlling, high value, high earning guy. Promised her a life of luxury. But he wanted things in exchange. She could have easily, easily walked away. Said, yo, this ain't for me. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. You know how I go. You know how the industry go. Well, if you if you ain't with this, then you might as well kiss your career goodbye. All right, career goodbye. You ain't gonna catch me on no camera duking on in the. You know what I'm saying? For no amount of money, you could threaten me with whatever you want to threaten me with, nigga. It's not happening. Cassie ain't she? She ain't had a mental fortitude to deal with it. That's just that's how that's what it sound like. She ain't have the mental fortitude to deal with it. And guess what happened? She wasn't able to deal with it. So now look, she in a situation. It's a wacky situation. Yes, it's a wacky situation. Whatever. Let's let's go. I'm gonna try to stop talking. I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna stop talking y'all head off because I'm going too crazy right now. We just gonna watch it, and I'm gonna let y'all do. Let me know what y'all do in the comment section, man, because I feel like I don't want this to be a anti Cassie thing or anti Diddy thing or pro Diddy thing or pro Cassie thing. Y'all y'all motherfuckers had a, had a conversation in the chat, man. Right. First Cassie into helping him obtain more when his legal supply ran out. She recounts instances where he would manipulate her into taking drugs, including ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, and excessive amounts of alcohol. GHB. One of the more unsettling revelations in the lawsuit is the claim that Diddy went to great lengths to maintain control over... I ain't gonna lie, last time, hold on, my fault. The video, I don't know if y'all seen the sex tape, that's out, but... Cassie look sober as hell in that sex tape, bro. So we're not even going to do that. She don't look like she under the influence of no drugs and none of them tapes I've seen. That look, just for the record, that's, that's my opinion. 
<laughs> he allegedly had her personal medical records sent directly to his email address. This disturbing level of intrusion suggests an obsession with maintaining dominance and control over what? her life. How? He want to make sure his bitch ain't out there smashing, doing this. He want to make sure she healthy. <laughs> that's not as crazy as, 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 as it sounds, bro. That's, that's me. And that don't sound too crazy to me. Extending to her health care information, the lawsuit details several instances of physical abuse illustrating a pattern of violence within the relationship. Cassie recounts an incident where Diddy beat her repeatedly in an escalade, kicking and hitting her after attending a party with Jay-Z. Another distressing episode involves an altercation and pattern of behavior that extends beyond the public persona Damn. of the music mogul. As the legal proceedings unfold, the spotlight on Diddy's personal life intensifies. Hold on, I know this nigga wasn't in no... Proceedings on... I know this fat ass nigga ain't sitting, doing no interview, sitting... In a goddamn, in a goddamn chair. If you don't stand your fat ass up, man. Got everybody looking down at you. Get your fat ass up, man. It's crazy. Old. The spotlight on Diddy's personal life intensifies, prompting a reevaluation of the image he has cultivated over the years. The shocking details in Cassie's lawsuit demand a closer examination of the music industry's dark underbelly and the price some individuals pay for success. Like her. The unfolding saga involving Diddy and his relationships has captivated public attention, and the details are so distressing that delving into every aspect becomes an arduous task. Initially, when Crazy. confronted with allegations, Diddy followed a familiar playbook by vehemently denying Cassie Venter's claims. He painted her as motivated by greed, insisting that she was fabricating stories to extort him. Asserting his innocence, Diddy, through his lawyer, issued a statement rejecting Venter's $30 million demand, framed as a threat to expose damaging details about their relationship. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that Red Givenchy um, blazer, that shit is fire, bro. The varsity jacket. That shit was fire. I ain't gonna lie. I missed that shit. I missed it. I ain't get a chance to get that one. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was wavy. Despite Ventor withdrawing her initial threat, she escalated the situation by filing a lawsuit filled with what Diddy's camp labeled as baseless and outrageous lies. The narrative presented portrayed her as oh, seeking crazy. a payday and attempting to tarnish Diddy's reputation. The public response to these developments was swift, with Cassie gaining widespread support and Diddy facing considerable backlash. This pressure led him to settle the lawsuit surprisingly quickly prompting skepticism about the nature of the resolution. In a statement, Cassie expressed her decision to resolve the matter amicably, citing terms that allowed her some level of control. Grateful for the un- They look like they're having a ball right there, and this is when, this is when um, Kim Porter was a little older. You know what I'm saying? This is years after they already broke up. They look pretty cool and cordial to me. Support from her family, fans and legal team, she emphasized that the resolution did go not see. signal the end of the challenges for Diddy. The public discourse continued, especially with the entry of Camerla Simmons into the conversation. Simmons addressed Diddy's yeah, relationship these AI should get on my nerves, bro, Kimara, Kim Porter, Kimara adding another layer to the unfolding narrative. Before delving into Kim Porter's story, observers began connecting the dots, realizing a pattern of mistreatment of women in Diddy's past relationships. An old interview with Diddy's bodyguard, Jane, resurfaced, shedding light on the physical abuse inflicted on Diddy's baby mama. So when she was out there, she was messing with, uh, the dude, um, uh, from EPMD. That's what I thought first. Uh, and then girlfriend, oh. Lisa Hilton. Gina Hu, a former side piece, also shared her experiences, revealing a stark shift from initial kindness to subsequent mistreatment over the first three and a half years describing Diddy's behavior during that period. Gina detailed how he became verbally abusive, belittling her and displaying signs of what she perceived as mental illness. This pattern, unfortunately, extended to Kim Porter as numerous reports surfaced of Diddy physically assaulting her. Jean's account highlighted the severity of the abuse with Kim eventually reaching a breaking point and defending herself the revelation of Diddy's history of mistreatment, especially towards women close to him, has sparked widespread discussion and condemnation. The public is grappling with the disturbing realization that the renowned figure has a darker side, prompting a reevaluation of his public image. Yeah. As people connect the dots and share That's stories, Russell the conversation right there? around Diddy's conduct can be... No. 
put his hands on her in the wrong way. And Kim took one of those court screws and ripped his wrist up. Oh. He, and hit an artery. Oh. And when she did that, he had to rush over to say continues to unfold, oh. leaving a lasting impact on his reputation and the perception of Man, power dynamics and high-profile <laughs> Paul could have been dead, yeah. The plot thickens as the public begins connecting the dots, raising questions about Diddy's potential involvement in the passing of Kim Porter. Adding another layer to this mystery is the revelation that Kim was on the brink of divulging significant details in a tell-all so, See? You gotta take out. You supposed to take out Cassie too. If you in, like, if you guilty, this is like this. Is, look, I'm just thinking from a killer's point of view. All right, a killer's mind, a killer's brain. You supposed to take Cassie out too. She got too much threatening information on you. You know she was pillow talking with the trainer. You know what I'm saying? If y'all didn't know, Cassie ended up getting with the trainer that was that Puff paid to take care of her. You know what I'm saying? To train her. So. She don't really got a good record, but Puff, you was supposed to take out Cassie too, I ain't gonna lie. Before her untimely death, what intensifies the intrigue is the break-in at Kim's residence right after her passing, where her laptop and other items mysteriously disappeared. The day that she died, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attacks and pneumonia like parallels with the case of jaguar what poison is old i need those <laughs> are unsettling well, shit. jaguar suggested that kim died from pneumonia echoing the official narrative however the initial coroner's report took a shocking turn ruling kim's death a homicide and uncovering toxins in her body that pointed to poisoning oh the unsettling notion that certain poisons mimic symptoms of heart attacks and pneumonia raises disturbing questions about the circumstances surrounding Kim's demise. Oh. While Kim can no longer speak for herself, her best friend, Kamora Lee Simmons, has stepped into the role of an advocate. Kimora, yeah, having fucking navigated her 10 own years later, shut up. with shady individuals during her marriage to Russell Simmons, brings a unique perspective to the situation. The rumors surround Simmons and the accusations against him add a layer of complexity to Kimora's involvement. Amplifying the drama surrounding Diddy Kimura reportedly celebrated when news of Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy emerged, viewing it as an opportunity for him to be held accountable for his actions. It's rumored that Kimura has long harbored suspicions that Diddy is concealing more about Kim's passing than he admits. In her quest for justice, Kimura remains convinced that Diddy is deeply entwined in a cover-up. The roller coaster of drama takes an unexpected turn when Cassie decides to back out of the lawsuit. Kimora, while initially disappointed, empathizes with the difficulty Cassie would face in reliving the trauma repeatedly. Oh, shut up. The Get the fuck out of here. Eye. Despite this setback, oh, Kimora God. is unwavering in her commitment to seeking justice for her friend Kim. Publicly shading di Diddy, Diddy Kimora declares, As you sow, so shall you reap. The public rallies behind Kimora, applauding her resilience and expressing support for her pursuit of the truth. Yeah, I always find it so funny how like women could like quote religious like 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 quote religious quotes and shit like that. But like divorce their husband and take millions. Like you're not that religious, bro. Don't try to use religion to help you fight a battle, but you don't practice any type of religious activity or behavior on your day-to-day -day basis like come on now don't do that but then you're gonna have people say oh well you don't know what she was going through during the marriage you don't know what's going on shut up if you're a woman that your top priority should be your family without a doubt bro but we're not going to get into that in this video not this one next one Blood in, acknowledging Kimora's vast experience in the industry and her steadfast belief that Kim Porter's death was not due to pneumonia, as officially stated. Rumors swirl that Kimora attempted to alert authorities to the possibility that Diddy played a role in Kim's passing. The anticipation builds as Kimora, armed with insider knowledge and a determination to uncover the truth, becomes a potential game changer in the unfolding drama. Speculation. She looking for a bag too. I ain't gonna lie. Kim Porter's best friend were to speak out. It could spell trouble for Diddy. The prospect of Kimora building a case against Diddy further fuels the public's intrigue. 
Kim's close friendship with Kimura, coupled with the latter's discovery of Kim's lifeless body, positions Kimura as a key figure in the ongoing saga. The lingering question hangs in the air, will Kimura eventually reveal the untold story of Diddy's alleged involvement in Kim's demise? Or will Diddy manage to maintain his silence and control the narrative he has the public... I mean, he already out of pocket 50k. Opinions diverge on whether Kimura 50 million, will be I mean. one to expose the truth or if Diddy will successfully navigate the storm. Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned this for nigga, the next chapter. So what the hell Puff was doing on the set of Star Wars, though? That's crazy. This, this is the end of the video, man. This is the end of the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hit the comments. This is definitely one of the topics we need to really sit down and break down. I'm really open to hear y'all point of views on this. And I mean, sorry if I offended some of y'all. Well, sorry, not sorry. I really don't give a fuck, honestly. But yo, hit the comment section. Show that love. Leave a like if you a subscriber. Hit the uh, bell. If you're not a subscriber, welcome to the family. I know you just subscribed, all right? See you on the next video. Yeah, gang, day one, ski gang. Love y'all. Roll to 10K. Peace.